I thought I'd just open with a couple of comments about why this topic. And I, I like to use this visual to kind of describe the why. Uh, one of the real advantages that I always like to remind people of, uh, of in animal agriculture is our ability to uh, recycle nutrients like carbon, nitrogen, and phosphorus. Uh, and if we do it efficiently, uh, we, we create a, a very environmentally sustainable system. Uh, the, the manure nutrients that an animal does not harvest for meat and milk uh, can then be used in our crops and our soil system. And some of those uh, crop and soils are going to produce the animal feeds that we recycle back to the animals again, and then on to the manure again. Uh, that efficient cycling of nutrients, I think, is a real advantage if we do it well in animal agriculture. And some, a story that I think we, we should tell better than what we do now. Now, in many ways, this kind of simplified model kind of describes how my grandfather did things that I, in terms of the system I remember as a very young kid in, in watching him, how he valued manure at that point in time. Now, we've had a lot of changes in our animal systems since that time. And they've got, they've evolved in a number of ways and become rather complex. And this has challenged our ability to recycle these nutrients. Uh, certainly we have seen a lot of division between the livestock producers and the, the crops producers. And so many of our nutrient sources for animal feeds are coming from farms that uh, are not associated with the livestock operations, sometimes maybe even hundreds or thousands of miles away. Uh, so that adds the challenge to the system the growth of the ethanol industry and our willingness to recycle byproducts from food processors into many of our animals also adds complexity to the system. And so the why for this is how well are we doing at transferring some of those manure nutrients that we're creating back into those cropping systems that are, are producing the animal feeds or other, or other food products. So our why for today is how well are we creating that arrow of transferring some of those nutrients uh, into some of the other crop farms that, that are creating the, the feeds we need. 